on the last video, we removed the third row seat. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link up here. Take a look at it. And now we need to build the floor. So these Forerunner floors, they are not flat by any stretch of the imagination. You can see there's a bunch of dimpling, there's a cross member up there, we have wiring. So this is why we need to use plywood so that we can build this up and cover all that. This will give us a nice flat surface to how to mount stuff to and set things on. This is going to shock you guys because this never happens, but I actually made a mistake. This hole needs to be 7 and 29 30 seconds. Not whatever I did there. And of course, I double checked after I drilled the holes, but this is the only one that's wrong. So that's an easy, easy remedy. And if you want to build this yourself, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave a link in the description with all the dimensions you need. Someone else did this and they actually made a whole, uh, a whole diagram to follow. And it's quite, it's quite well done. It has a lot of dimensions, everything you need on it to do this. So I'll leave that for you guys if you want to take a look. But now what we're going to do is we're going to counterbar all these. These rear holes are actually uh, bolts. These rear bolts are actually bigger than the front. The front we're gonna use M6, but the rear we're gonna use M10s. And before I drill these any bigger, uh, I'm gonna use these holes to locate my spade bit here. That way we can countersink these holes. So let's get to countersinking. Went ahead and shove this in here just to see where we're at. All the holes lined up now, thank goodness. Uh, I also took the extra piece that came off this board when I cut it and started making blocks to see where we need support. Um, we're actually gonna have to cut more. We're gonna need more support, mainly in the front, on the sides here, and that'll give us all the support we need, and then we're getting pretty close to having this uh, in a position where we can finish it off. Something like that is I think I think is what we'll do. We'll measure all this out and mark it all out and then we'll start gluing and getting all these mounted and that should give us a very level and secure base. Go ahead and put some nut certs in. If you've never seen a nut cert, this is what they look like. 
And essentially you have a tool like this, and actually you can use a bolt and washers too if you're careful. Uh, you put them in blind holes, squish them, and it gives you a nut to screw into. And they're pretty strong. The rock sliders on my Jeep are held on with these in the body, and they've taken some very, very hard hits. They're pretty strong little things. So let me show you where we're gonna put them, and we'll get them in. And here's that lovely cross member that we have to build blocks on to go over. We're gonna utilize it by putting a nut sir right here. Now, the reason we're electing to go this way is I'm not really keen on putting huge holes to the floor just yet, so we're gonna go this route. So you take this little tool, and you screw your nut sir on. All right, I think that's on enough. Then we take it, put it in the hole, and we squeeze. this up like that squeeze again and one more time oh, I think that's all it's gonna get let's take a look at it and there we have it a nice perfect hole let's do a few more All right, these blocks, they're all glued and screwed. Um, hold them in nice and tight. I think they'll be good to go. Not my best work. They're a little odd looking. Not super square, all of them. <laughs> That's okay. They're structural and they're not gonna be seen. So let's put this over and get to the next step. All right, so before I put the carpet on, let's go ahead and take care of these edges. how we can do this. Nice. Yeah. Good job, honey. I think so. Yeah. It's good enough. I think so. Good enough. Well, clearly, you like it. I like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, this turned out really nice. I love the way it looks. Um, I hope it's gonna function as well as it looks. <laughs> I didn't I didn't think it was gonna look this well when I started fumbling around with the carpet. I thought I was gonna get it all messed up, but uh, clearly I got it on there good enough. So that's, that's pretty nice. So we have two things left to do. We have to put some anchors in, but first we have to figure out where we want the stuff to sit on this, and then we'll anchor everything down, or install the anchors. 
And then uh, also there's some weird little holes left over from where the third row kind of tucks in. Um, and we'll have to cover those up too. Same like we just did here. We'll just build little side skirts and cover with carpet and it'll look nice. So we'll do that. Anyway, so I think that's all we have time for today. And uh, we'll finish this up in the next video. And then after that, we'll get started on a whole other project of getting a sleeping platform in the back of the foreigner. We have one week until we head to Idaho. So this stuff needs to happen pretty quick. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next video.